There's more to this rolling landscape than meets the eye. I'm standing here on the edge of a hidden 20 kilometer wide circular structure and that there's something funny going on we can see in the building blocks that were used in the Middle Ages for churches and castles. And therefore I'm going to take you to the city of Rochechouart. The building blocks of this castle consist of a very special rock type that we call breccia. They're big chunks of all sorts of different rock types, broken into larger and smaller pieces and embedded in a matrix of pulverized, dusty stuff. This is a, a sediment, but normally sediments formed by wind and by water have layers. This stuff looks like it came falling out of the sky. Behind me you see some of the unhappiest rocks I've ever seen. They're completely smashed and they contain this stuff. This is also a breccia, but between the chunks there's not dust, there's glass. And that means that this stuff was molten. And there's only one way to do that, and that is with the impact of a meteorite. This meteorite was a kilometer across, and when it hit the earth, the same thing happens as when you take a rock and you throw it in a puddle of mud. You make a crater, and in the middle you get this fountain of material coming back up, and we're standing right in the middle. This was about one-fifth of the energy that killed the dinosaurs, but it would still have wiped out almost all of France. But today, this makes for easy mining that includes all the material that was used for the roads that the peloton is now racing over.